Warning. Warning. Critical system error detected in jump form. Overload imminent. Immediate shutdown advised. Emergency jump core shutdown sequence in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop! Foolish human! You're not ready for this level of danger yet. If only you had an omnipotent intergalactic space wizard like me on hand to show you the ropes. Oh, all right then. I'll help you out. It looks like your ship has broken down. Oh dear. If you want to get out of here alive, your primary objective should probably be to... Repair the jump core. A mysterious alien ship. How intriguing. You're about to experience your first alerts. Happy days. Although I should probably warn you. Alerts are bad. 100%. Stand by for damage. They've launched fighters. How adorable. Surely such a tiny little thing couldn't possibly pose a threat to a big fancy starship like yours. Alien ships are bad. Well, well. Your ship's systems seem kind of fragile. You'll probably want to repair that ASAP if you like being able to survive. System damage is bad. Gravity schmavity. You don't have to worry about this lame old anomaly. You've got a fancy teleporter to zip about the ship with. Let's just hope it stays functional, because otherwise... Anomalies are bad. Aliens just shot your soldier in the face. She'll need to visit the infirmary to get that looked at. What's worse, if more than 12 aliens board your ship, you are dead. Your ship is taking fire, and look, there's that fighter from before. It's adding to the damage. How annoying. Better not let your shields go below zero. Otherwise, you are dead. I appreciate that this may all be too much for your feeble human mind to take in. So let's do a quick recap. More than 12 aliens, dead. Shields all gone, dead. Jump core to 100%, live! Got that? Good. Now, on with the destruction. Looks like more alerts are on the way and they can really mess with your crew. We'll get back to them later because the first thing you need to do if you want to survive is... Know your ship! Now, now, don't do anything rash. Take your time to assess the situation. Click and hold those little buttons at the side of the screen to inspect your systems. I'd recommend you start with the external scanners. 
The external scanners reveal the next two there you go. The external scanners reveal the next two alerts. What is it you humans say? Always be prepared? Prepared to die? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm using my inside voice again, aren't I? Insecure Earthlings, your shields can't protect you from the horrors of space. Well, actually, maybe they can, as long as you don't let them fall below zero. Verbal communication is so primitive. The comm system lets you transfer skills between crew members remotely. Knowledge is power, after all. Well, at least the captain left you some crafty battle plans in his journal. These can really save your bacon, so you'll want to use as many as you can. It's not like he'll be needing them now. How typically aggressive of your species. What do you know? There's that fighter again. Why not prove your superiority by blowing it up with a torpedo? Security? Don't make me laugh. Just because your ship has laser turrets in every room, it doesn't mean you're safe. All they can do is zap intruders. A computer? How quaint. Use the CPU to collect skills. Your crew will need them to do stuff. The internal sensors let you see the next three skills. If they happen to be online, that is. Why are humans so obsessed with toys? This cargo pod is full of high-tech tools and handy skills that may, or may not, help save your miserable crew. A computer? How quaint. Use the CPU to collect skills. All the real forms can be quite fragile. Look, your soldier has been injured. She won't be able to do much unless you fix her in the trauma station. Want beefier shields? Or perhaps more advanced sensors? Well, maybe you should have thought about that before you left. Luckily, if you need to upgrade the ship mid-mission, you can do it right here. You humans, always meddling with things you don't understand. Sure, you can research anomalies here, but wouldn't it be safer just to stay at home in your own sector? Without your fancy teleporter, you'll have to walk everywhere, which can really suck up those actions. Exercise is good for you humans. Dying, not so much. You should probably make sure this stays online. Ah, the jump core. Looks like yours is busted. Boo-hoo. Get it to 100% if you want to live. I could fix it for you with a snap of my fingers. But I'm not going to. What do you need fixing? Who is this up here? Chief Engineer? Anomalous, hmm? anomalous. She sounds important. Let's take a closer look at her stats. Now then, if you pay attention to the diagram above, you'll notice that Chiefy here has got four actions to spend, and not one, but two engineering discounts. So let's put them to good use. My mistake, mon ami. There's just one last dreadfully boring diagram before we get cracking. Here are your basic moves you can do with just actions. No ship systems or skills required. Have a quick squeeze and then let's get to it. Now function. No more diagrams from now on, I promise. Let's spend one of those lovely actions to get Chiefy to the cargo hold. Just click on the room to beam her right there. We can do it! Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Your crew will always use the teleporter as long as it's online. Now, click on the cargo pod and let's grab some cool gear. What are you hiding in there, buddy? Such a selection of gadgetry. Each one can be used twice with a different effect each time. 
If you want to repair the jump core, why not grab a torch? Why, thank you! Wonderful! We should have everything we need to repair the core now. Just click on Engineering to beam back over there. Ready! The jump core is the heart of the ship. You'll need to repair it to escape, so let's not procrastinate. Click on the core to inspect the damage. We can do it! How embarrassing! Even with the Chief's engineering discount, we don't have enough skills. Hang on. Click on the torch to fire it up. Then repair that jump core. Low torches ain't just for creme brulee, you know. Yeah, it's a good thing I packed my hyper wrench. Jump core power at 60. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? The core has to be at 100% for your ship to escape. Unfortunately, the Chief doesn't have any actions left, so it's time to end your phase. That should keep this ship from blowing up. For a while, at least. Warning. Power grid unstable. Did I mention there would be more alerts? Your teleporter is gonna blow, and remember that anomaly from earlier? It's about to make your life very difficult. Medic! Ah. Poor old Chiefy. She fixed the core and all she got for it was an electric shock in the back. Let's hope the soldier fares a bit better, eh? She's exactly where she needs to be. So click on the armory to zoom in. Those ill-mannered aliens have roughed up our girl. Hmm. Maybe she can use the security station to get her revenge. Get to mention. You can't do anything with aliens in the room. In fact, your options here are limited to A. Teleport away like a chicken, or B. Punch them all in the face. Fortunately, option B is the soldier's speciality. Let's try that instead, shall we? Come, get some! Justice is served. There's nothing more dangerous than a wounded crew member. Unfortunately, you still can't use any systems because the soldier is injured. So let's get her to the infirmary. Gravity increased! Must move! Well, that took way more actions than usual. That's increased gravity for you. But you made it to the infirmary. Well done you. Now, select the trauma station to get that flesh wound checked out. Sir, yes, sir! You humans seem to get injured an awful lot. No wonder you invented this thing. You can select any injured crew member in the infirmary and heal them right up. All better? You might want to check the external scanners before you end your turn. I have a nasty feeling they might be about to blow up. A scan in time saves nine, as they say. Standing down. Override available. Activate countermeasure. I hate to say I told you so. 
If only there was something you could do. But there is. With the Soldier's Command discount, you have enough skills to override the alert. Normally, you'd have to be quick about it, but I've frozen time, so you don't have to worry about that pesky countdown. Outstanding work, soldier. Your quick thinking has saved the ship's scanners. Now, back to certain doom in the icy depths of space. My cybernetic components safeguard... Finally, a life form with a bit of panache. Anomalous that increased anomalous. gravity was rather tiresome, wasn't Research. it? Good AI. thing the cyborg here is immune. Let's science the heck out of that anomaly. To the CPU core! Yes. Teleporter offline. The computer is the best place to get skills. But oh dear. It only holds 12 of each type, and that's nowhere near enough to fix the core. Don't panic. The CPU will recycle you skills when empty or repaired. So recycle or die. Let's take a look. Affirmative. <sighs> Your internal sensors are on the fritz. You could chance it and grab a random skill from the computers, but why take the risk? Let's get those sensors fixed with that nice red tactical skill I see in your pocket. Interfacing with ship systems. Operational capacity reestablished. That's more like it. Best not to leave these things to chance, eh? To get rid of those pesky anomalies, we need science. So grab one from the sensors and let's be on our way. Skill assimilated. Great stuff. The terrifying and mysterious peculiarities of deep space are no match for you, are they? Let's zoom out and get to the science lab before another anomaly pops up, eh? Shield ads. Yes. You could spend all those lovely science skills on a flashy system upgrade instead. It's a shame you've got more important things to worry about. Grab your lab coat and select the research station. Compliance. That's the ticket. Who needs enhanced shields or predictive monitoring anyways? Select the increased gravity anomaly and then hit research to restore your ship's artificial gravity to a balmy 9.81 meters per second squared. A simple matter of quantum attention. Excellent. Normality has been restored. Now, assimilate the crew and take command of the ship. Just kidding. You're out of actions anyway. Why not just end your turn instead? Activating rest mode. Warning. Enemy ships are charging weapons. <laughs> That fighter? Again? I really hope this tutorial covers torpedoes. Spoiler alert. It does not. When we work together, we can beat... Well, hello, Counselor. Love the hat. Teleporter. Have now we met before? Detective. Ah, I see your special ability has already given you an extra action because a soldier is nearby. But before we use it, let's check the shields. 40%, eh? Mm, that's not good. But it looks like you need one more tactical skill to repair them. Chief, Time to fire up the comm system. To the infirmary. Let's see now. Who has one of those little red tactical skills? Well, that's lucky. Our old pal Chiefy has one spare. Go back to the main view, click on her to bring up her deets, then initiate a trade.
Hostile ships detected. Please report to the armory. We can do it! Let's talk baggage. Thank you. Thanks, Chiefy. Try and keep the comm system operational, otherwise you'll have to be in the same room to trade skills. Now, get that fabulous hat to the bridge. Of course. Teleporter offline. Well, well, that is one comfy looking chair. What were we doing again? Oh yes, repairing the shields. We don't want them to run out now, do we? Otherwise, kaboom! I can help with that. The shield seemed to be holding. Shield at 50%. Well done, everybody. Great work. I really mean it. Obviously, I can't take all the credit, but I'm going to anyway. You would have been instant space dust without my help. Hit end, and we can wrap things up. I'm done. Maintenance required. I can't help thinking that I've forgotten something important. Let me see. More than 12 aliens equals dead. Shields below zero equals dead. Oh, wait a minute. I've got it. Caution. Jump cord has reached... <laughs> Red alerts! Once you've exhausted boring old yellow and orange, you'll encounter the real bad boys. Just one of which could mean instant death. Ah, like that one right there. Space, no one can hear you whine. You've just learned an important lesson. The cosmos is a dangerous place, and it really wants you dead. In fact, you're going to have to work very hard indeed to avoid ending up just like Mon Capitan. There, is that better? I've restored the timeline back to before we start. Your precious crew is safe. So now, feel free to destroy the ship on your own this time. See you around. It's been a blast. Literally.